It's pretty common that influencers will leave social media after a few years of stardom, and there are many reasons why they do. But some actually decide to come back, and when they do, their fans are shocked to see them. And these are the influencers we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm Mackenzie Smith, and let's get into the top 10 influencers who mysteriously came back. And at number 10, Leafy is here. A few years back, Leafy was one of the largest channels on YouTube, and his brash and offensive content generated millions of views. But YouTube didn't like his fast growth, because they didn't consider him brand friendly. As a result, they hit him with multiple strikes in a row, and his channel was heavily suppressed. Since his channel was not performing like it once had, Leafy took a hiatus from the platform in 2017. However, he suddenly returned two years later in a surprise video insulting I Dubs, who had made a content cop on him before he left the platform. His return to YouTube was a success, and he was getting massive views again. However, he fell back into his old patterns and started criticizing other creators on the platform, most notably Pokimane. After all this, his channel was permanently banned in 2020. He has somewhat returned to the platform under another channel called Weefy, but only limited content has been uploaded. In at number 9, FoosyTube. FoosyTube was one of the largest YouTubers in the early 2010s and he collaborated with huge stars like Alex Wasabi and Lily Singh. But he got involved in a string of controversies and his channel died as a result of it. He also dealt with mental health struggles that he was open about on his channel as well. After he tried to throw somewhat of a YouTube convention in 2018, but it failed, he decided to take a break from uploading on the platform. After this, he removed all of the content from his social media accounts and went dark online. However, he did return a year later in 2019, but shortly left once again. However, it seems that Fusi has made a name for himself in the commentary realm, and he's now commentating YouTuber fights, and frankly, I think he does a pretty good job. In at number 8, Lohanthony. Anthony Quintal, known online as Lohanthony, was known as one of the OG creators, and went viral for his antics, as well as being open online about being gay as a young teen. A lot of his content was very upbeat and colorful, and he urged his fans to live life as their truest self. But as the years went by, Anthony grew up and he unofficially left the platform. It seemed like he was going to live the rest of his life off the platform until he made a shocking return in 2020. In his recent videos, he actually retracted his sexuality and spoke about getting closer to Christ. He now says that his sexuality was not who he truly was, and substance issues are the true reason that he came out. He even claimed that he would be celibate forever, rather than sleep with men again, as he now feels it is a sin. And at number 7, Natalia Taylor. Natalia Taylor has a strange history on YouTube. She started her channel in 2015 and quickly gained traction. She shared a lot of stories about her life and vlogs. But then she started getting in with the wrong crowd and started misusing substances as a result of it. After a few months of this, she filmed a strange and creepy video that she posted in 2017, sharing that she had a fake name and giving innuendos into her real life. After this, fans were really concerned, they didn't really understand the video, and Natalia actually decided to take some time off of YouTube. She returned in 2018 with a brand new hair color and just a new outlook on life. She's now consistently making content again, and it's clear she's in a much better place than before. And at number 6, Kalel. Kalel is an OG YouTuber that gained notoriety while she dated fellow YouTube star Anthony Padilla. The pair were even engaged at one point, but they didn't go through with the wedding. After this, Kalel branched out into her own channel with tons of success. But she is famous for leaving the platform, deleting her videos, then coming back years later. She has left and come back to the platform so many times, it's honestly hard to keep track. Track. She recently made a return to the platform in June of 2021 and has uploaded multiple videos since her return. Although fans expect her to leave again shortly. And at number 5, Tati Westbrook. Tati Westbrook was known as an unproblematic beauty guru for many years until she uploaded her bi sister video and she got the attention of the entire world. She's been incredibly infrequent on her channel ever since. After her bi sister video exposing James Charles, she didn't upload for over a year, but she returned close to the end of anniversary of that by sister video to upload another video, this time exposing Shane and Jeffree Star. After that video got tons of hate, she left the internet once again for over a year. But she recently returned and it seems for good. 
and she's been uploading daily on her channel ever since. And it really does seem like she's finally moved on from all the drama, and her fans just really want to see her content again. And at number four, Olivia Jade. Olivia Jade was basically ostracized off of YouTube after her family was charged in the college admissions scandal. And based on the backlash, it didn't look like she would ever be coming back to YouTube. But after her mother and father were sent to jail for their crimes, Olivia decided to make her return on an episode of Red Table Talk. After that interview generated lukewarm response, Olivia finally returned to YouTube January of 2021 with a daily vlog. In the beginning of the video, she discussed the scandal and the Red Table Talk interview, then went into the vlog. She's been uploading consistently ever since, and public support seems to finally be coming back to her. And at number three, Asina O'Neill. In 2015, Asina O'Neill was a budding influencer with over 800,000 followers on Instagram. However, she decided to change up her life dramatically and decided to quit being an influencer. She also made it her mission to tell the truth about social media and expose how fake that everything is. However, she has recently made a return to social media. In a YouTube interview with Tiffany Ferguson uploaded November of 2019, O'Neill admits that she misses having followers. She even said that she kind of wants the followers back, saying, quote, I think as much as I can critique myself, there was something so special about what I had online and I just want it again. She's now relaunched her Instagram and is posting content again. And at number two, Anthony Padilla. Anthony Padilla was one half of YouTube channel Smosh. In 2002, Anthony and Ian started uploading their Smosh videos to YouTube and they quickly took off. By the fall of 2005, they were one of the most popular channels on the site. But then things started changing and the group got less popular, prompting Anthony to leave the company in 2017. However, after a break, he started uploading to his own channel again and he's had tons of success. He started a series, quote, I spent a day with in December of 2018 and he's totally reinvented his brand because of it. One of his most viewed videos is one where he spent a day with people with multiple personalities. And finally, at number one, Jesse Smiles. Former Viner Jesse Smiles has become incredibly infrequent on her channel over the years and has focused more on working a full time steady job so that she can provide for her new family. However, it seems like she's pulled back to the platform every few years or so because of Gabby Hanna. Gabby and Jesse have been feuding for years now, and every few years, Gabby brings up a traumatic experience from Jesse's past in an attempt to clear her own name. But as a result of this, Jesse is forced to make videos telling her side of the story in response. I doubt Jesse will ever be consistent on the platform again, but fans can count on the odd, you know, one off video. So that's all for the list, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one below. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on YouTubers that scammed their fans part two. So Ashley said, I can't get over the fact that people actually bought out a nasty's bathwater. Like who even raised you and how friggin' psychotic are you? This is beyond disgusting. Y'all need help. Um, honestly, I, I kind of agree with all those statements. It's crazy like to think of like who would actually buy that because I'm sure she sold so much of it and made so much money, it's crazy, yeah, it's very concerning. Then Tanya said, putting Decent and Gabby Hanna in the same sentence should be outlawed. Really can't disagree with you there. <laughs> then Lightning said, millionaires use severely disadvantaged children to scam the people who made their careers it is the most scummy thing I have seen this month. They all need to be kicked from the FaZe Clan and face legal accountability for promoting fraud. I actually think one of the guys, FaZe K, I think, is actually getting looked at by the police. Like he might actually get sued and or go to jail for this. So it's getting really, really serious really fast. I think he even made like somewhat of an apology video recently because of it. So yeah, I think something's like going to happen there and it's gonna be bad. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and wanna see some more, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I will catch you all in the next one.